liked to win this one, but what type of confidence did it take and how did you keep your cool to win it at the line like that? Uh, yeah, you, um, shoot, not, not the way we wanted it, but um, a win is a win, we'll take it. Uh, for me, just going to the line and doing what I normally do, same routine. Um, not blocking out all the noise, just really blocking out all the noise and, and locking in and focus. I mean, you know, um, first two free throws I got uh, in the fourth quarter, I, I really couldn't feel my hand going to the line shooting them because of the foul. And, um, you know, I'll never miss two in a row. So that was a tough one. But just getting the opportunity again late in overtime, I just wanted to win the game because we had too much going on the whole night. I was like, man, we got we got to put this one, put this one down and get the win. What did you make of the way that Danny played in overtime? Doc said that he was really helpful to you guys in the huddle. How, how big was he for you down the stretch? Oh uh, man, I mean, you know, his uh, those two threes that he did make, even before in regulation, um, you know, the go ahead basket that he made at that time too was was big for us. Um, but his leadership and what he brings to the table. Over time, he was able to get good looks off. Um, you know, Danny's a, a, a really good player, solid player for us every single night. Uh, and tonight, you, you just see that. You see, um, you know, that composure and that leadership you know, is the reason why he has three rings. And, and that's part of the reason. Um, and that's what he brings to this team. Thank you. Yeah. Next is Marcus Hayes. Hey, Tobias, um, <clears throat> I'm not sure you guys have had the same starting lineup uh, two games in a row since the break. Um, how have you guys continued to produce? And, you know, what does uh, what does Doc and his, his staff, what do they have to do with, I guess, the way that you guys are able to uh, to adjust night by night? Yeah, um, you know, for us, it's, we're just fig trying to figure it out on the fly uh, a lot of time. I mean, with this uh, particular NBA season, we don't get much practice time. Um, so, you know, we're going into different games with just trying to build chemistry. But um, more importantly, we have things and, and pillars we, we stand on as a, as a unit and as a team. And we want to bring that night after night. Uh, the coaching staff has done an amazing job throughout this whole year of putting us in the, the right positions to be successful. Uh, and allowing us to play and um, you know, embrace one one another game. So they put a lot of confidence and still a lot of confidence in each and every one of the guys, and that's only helped us. Doc mentioned that you guys were lucky that he got some family time today, or else he'd have been a little bit more irritated <laughs> with the uh, with the occurrences of the evening. Do you, do you feel like you uh, you dodged a bullet with him uh, him being able to see his progeny uh, today, and maybe mellow it out a little bit? I mean, he was he was in on my ear, all, in my ear all game, so um, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But that's that's expected, and uh, I I know where where it's coming from, and um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was good that um, he was in doubt because we we know how extreme he can get. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Let's take two more, Paul Hudrick and Keith Pompey. Paul, go ahead. Hey, Tobias, uh, just going back to Danny, you talked yesterday about the culture and, and how that's kind of helped you guys build so much and be able to win games when, when you know, you, you, the chips kind of aren't in your favor. Um, just how big has Danny been, you know, from compared to what you guys had last year to this year, him coming in and what he's kind of brought from that aspect? Yeah, uh, you know, as I touched on, um, you know, a solid player that um, – you know, even uh, I would say after All Star break, he's really catching his his stride shooting wise, and um, you know he's he's such a great shooter on the floor, quick release, and what he brings defensively is key for us. But uh, um, leadership is is a big thing. I mean, you can just tell in games like this and in other games, he he's been there. He's um, had long seasons with with really good teams and and knows what it takes. So. He brings that type of leadership and that 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 enhances our culture as as a team. Um, but for us, I mean, I think that you know we we look at Danny like a, a stable individual that just 
comes to play night after night, gives us a great effort. And um, you know, as you saw tonight, just made some some big plays. And, and that uh, is a domino effect for other guys to see actually on the team. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. All right, last one is Keith. Mike, what are you looking for just is getting out of this road trip? Of, of course, wins, right? But 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 what are you looking to see from your team to let you know that okay, we are we we're definitely where I think we are. Uh, you know, just guy guys stepping up, um, and and. At the end of the day, us figuring out. I think that uh, this road trip without Joel, um, we we got to find what are we going to hang our hat on? How good can we be defensively? Um, and just getting different efforts from different guys. I think you know I uh, I give a shout out to Shake. Our last two games just been balling for us. I mean Dwight has been as good as anybody after the All Star break. So. Guys are getting an opportunity to come out and play, and um, we we need that. We we need that type of confidence. We need uh, us as a team to continue to embrace one another on the floor. So I I just think for us we have an opportunity to really build something and and grow grow with it right now and just being fearless. We're playing. We're going to be playing some really good teams that are going to push us, and it's getting ready for playoff basketball. You see the teams that are at the top of the top and teams that want to make the playoffs really pushing now. And for us, we got to get ourselves and our mind in, in that position. All right, and, and one last question. Um, you know, a, a year ago at this time, I would have come in the locker room and we would ask you, man, y'all lost, a, y'all had a bad loss, y'all had a lot of mistakes, whatnot, right? Today, you you won the game and it was a bad game. People played bad, but you guys won. What's the biggest difference from last year to this year to enable you guys to win these type of games when you used to lose them last year? Uh, I would say first, not having you guys in the locker room allowed us to win the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, uh, you know, even myself, like after the game, um, like, it, was, it was a great win for us. But like I look at my, myself individually and I say it's that – it's not going to cut it in playoff basketball because it's a different type of intensity, and there was too many mistakes. Um, so like, so I, you know, I, I personally look at that and say we got to go to the drawing board, watch the film, and see ways to evolve and be better. And I think for this team, it's kind of um, that's like the whole group mentality of tomorrow. Yeah, it's great to get this win and we got it, but tomorrow we're going to lock in and get in this film session and understand areas that we can grow in so, you know, five, six games from now, we don't have, when we're in a, a nail-biter, we don't have those th- same type of mistakes. So I think uh, for us it's, it's, it's growth and evolution as a team, but we're striving for something greater. We know... Um, we know night after night what we bring to the table and that we can put ourselves in that position to win. But we're actually truly trying to gain something that when playoff basketball comes, we know how solid we are as a team and we know what to expect from one another in those situations. So I would just say it's that long-term outlook on what we're trying to do. Thanks, man. Thanks, too. All right. Thanks, boss. See ya.